Okay, so today we have something a little bit different. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to here today. It is actually Labor Day weekend 2020. So we did not start here, but before I zoom back a few hours, I just wanna give everybody a quick disclaimer. This video is completely different from anything we've done. We will be talking and showing you hunting scenes. So for our vegan and vegetarian viewers, this may not necessarily be the one for you. So I just wanted to warn you guys up front, uh, just it is gonna be on hunting because it is dove season. I am a hunter, my family, we hunt. And so it's part of our lifestyle. So just wanted to give you guys that little heads up before we zoom back just a few hours to start this weekend. Okay, so it is early. It's about, oh, 20 minutes after five. So not that early for farming, but we are doing something a little bit different today. So we got Austin, some of his friends, some people from work that are all going out and it is dove season. So we will be hunting today. All right, so we're heading out. It's about sunrise. We can legally hunt right now. So uh, we're a little behind schedule, but we're gonna get going. Mine are like kind of quiet right now. So the birds are gonna be coming from this direction mainly, but they may come from this way. Oh, absolutely. If you see rabbits, kill rabbits. Um, Cody's really good at doing that, but he's afraid of cleaning them. He's afraid of blood. It makes it awkward. <laughs> well, I guess I can leave this on. I keep thinking they can't hear me if I'm talking with this on. Yeah, I know. Okay, so um, the birds are gonna mainly be coming from this direction. They may come from that direction. They probably won't stay there. They'll probably be walking around. Um, we'll probably do the same. The biggest thing is we wanna make sure since there's four of us here, they're used to shooting and hunting. You guys will be surprised once the birds start, they're flying. That's doves, so. Oh, we always you shoot at those. But that's what you do. Um, but you wanna make sure that obviously there's nobody in front of you. Yep, that's how this works. Keep track of your holes, your empty holes. Uh, and then keep track of other people. So you can see they're gonna fly that way. So what we wanna do is kind of spread out. We've got this tree behind us, which is kind of our guard with them so they can't shoot us. So we're gonna kind of line up this way, okay. shoot just like we are. So just stay in a row, realize that everybody's next to you. So you don't wanna shoot this way, you don't wanna shoot that way. So we're just gonna kind of spread out along this little uh, kind of tree line, okay? Okay. okay. You guys got high flyers coming towards you. If you guys want to slide that way, they're coming here. Here you go, guys, coming at you. I'm going to go check out over here. I'm going to see if I can find it. All right, I'll slide down. Okay, they're coming in. Austin, they're coming in at you, right there. Coming in right here, guys. Coming in right here. You want to you wanna try to lead them a little bit. You should be in front of the bird when you shoot. You okay. know that, right? Yes. Okay, and it's not far in front. Usually if they're you know, not far from you, it's maybe a foot okay. in front of it. Don't worry about beads or anything on the barrel. Just point the barrel at them. Just go, you okay. Yep. Serena, Serena, back up about five feet or so. Okay. And they're coming your way. A bunch of them. He just fell. If he fell, you go get him. If, if we know that, everybody stop, stop shooting. Did you get one? I don't know for sure, but he just kind of trickled down and then. You may have. Serena's walking, so did she see it go down? Oh. Finally. First blood. Holy crap. Ooh, down. Two. I'm coming through, guys. Okay. Get one. Austin, right there, watch it. Right on the other side of that tree. I lost mine that I down. Left side, guys. Coming in. I got it. Good job, man. I'm gonna go get him. I'm good. <laughs> Coming on your side, guys. Come on, left side. A lot going right through the property. Right there. Oh. Right there, guys. Your side. Line up. Everybody yeah. shoot. That'd be cool. 
All right, so it wasn't as good as we were hoping it would be. Cody's the winner so far with four, uh, but- uh, Good job, Cody. That was just the first round. Did everybody at least get one? Serena, we're waiting for- I David. have one. David just got one. We each have one. Oh, yeah, she got one. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweet. Everybody got one. Nice. So good. Is it weird if I talk with my mouth? Nope. All right, Sunday so what's your plan next? Mm. We are not done hunting yet. Because with all of us put together, we realized we're actually still one short of having a single limit. <laughs> so we got some other ideas about a second spot. So we'll see how we do uh, second time around. We're headed out to the second spot. I think I got the crew behind me, but uh, we've got another spot that's on a water tank. So we're gonna see if we can get a few more, maybe get a limit combined <laughs> if we can't just get our own. So we're working on it still. They're coming. Had a really good time this morning with everybody. Uh, I think we did pretty good. Nobody limited out, uh, even though that looks like it. But uh, <laughs> we had a good time. Got a lot of cleaning to do, and we got some newbies that have never cleaned doves before. So we've got some training to do too. So I know today has been a little bit different, but what's really cool is this. Evening chores are not being done by Lori and I, they're being done by the kiddos. We've got Austin and Nikki back there taking care of the evening chores, grabbing eggs from the new pullets. So hopefully they laid today. Not sure whether or not they did. But we had just a really cool day today. It's the first day of Labor Day weekend. I think I'm gonna try to get some footage for you guys tomorrow. You know, one of the things with us here is we don't really take time off. I, we work, both Lori and I work full time and we do this full, full time-ish. <laughs> so, you know, we do a lot and one of the things that we wanted to try to do this weekend is mix in a little bit of fun and the hunting was a big part of that. Austin and I are gonna do some hunting again tomorrow morning, but we do actually have a few projects that we still have to get done. So, I'm gonna wrap this up for today because we need to get to eating dinner. So we're out here, we actually just finished dinner. Sunset is going down. So, uh, Nikki actually came down here because I forgot to turn the water off and we have free range cattle. Hopefully I'll get, be able to get this for you guys. And we've got them on both sides of the property. They're out there and mooing at us. This one I think is lost. <laughs> yep, that one got separated somehow, but they're gonna come across right there. But we haven't seen our cattle friends here in a while and it makes me real happy that we have our fence up. <laughs> and you can see there's a baby cow over here mooing, trying to find mama. And I hear mama running over here on the other side, trying to find baby. So really cool, kind of a neat way to end tonight. It's uh, early Sunday, September 6th. We got Austin and I are actually, he actually stayed the night last night with Nikki. That was kind of nice to have them here. And we are gonna hit up our like primary dove spot this morning. We did good on it yesterday, so we're gonna see how we do this morning, just the two of us. So we're gonna head out now before that sun comes up. We're back and not quite as good a day today. Luckily we had everybody here yesterday and we did a lot better. Uh, but Austin and I got three this morning. He got two and I got one, so he beat me today. And he, he had a much better accuracy. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and clean those birds up, eat some breakfast, but I wanted to show you guys the setup we used yesterday to clean all the birds. So I don't know how many we had, it was a lot. Uh, but uh, we've got this table. This is actually our processing table for chickens. So we use this table uh, in order to clean the birds. And basically everything that was left from the birds went down here in this berry bed. And I did bury it down underneath the wood chip. So we had, we actually had a couple rabbits from yesterday from the group and lots of doves. So this now has some additional fertilizer that's gonna be underneath those wood chips and breaking down. And it looks like we didn't have the coyotes come clean up as much as I thought they were going to. So I'm gonna take 
the remainder of the carcasses from the doves and actually kind of put them around the edges here, bury them underneath the wood chips and truly let those compost down. I actually had learned that from my dad fishing as a kid. He always was burying fish guts down into the ground wherever he was growing and it worked really, really well. So Austin's here with me. We're gonna have breakfast, get some cleaning done. Wanted to show you guys that and I need to show you guys this. That is, hopefully you can see it, that is our sweet potatoes. That's a single sweet potato in all the vines. It's pretty much taking over that berry bed here. You can see, it just looks fantastic. Lori and I actually have used some of the greens. We're gonna do that again. In fact, we may put something up on the Healthy Farm Living channel using those greens with a dish, but they taste really good, a lot like spinach but just growing amazing. My stomach's growling, we need to get inside. So we got breakfast down, working on a few things, but I wanted to see, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pick this up on camera or not, but we have these turkey vultures. This time of year, we noticed the last year before we moved in, they're basically, I'm, I'm assuming they're roosting in the wash area, but I've got big circles of them. We know there's nothing dead over there, they're here every day, but a huge circle of them over here. I'm gonna see if I can pick them up on camera. There's a big circle of them there, Again, may not be too easy to see on camera, right between the two buildings. And the sun's gonna pick up this one, but there's a big circle of them there. So we do see them, they come in in the evenings and obviously they come back out here in the morning and they roost. I'm assuming again, it's just part of migration or whatever they do, maybe it's, I don't know, mating season or something. I'm not sure how it works with turkey vultures, but we got those out there. So. Uh, what we're gonna do, we actually do have some chores we're gonna get done today. I have Austin, he volunteered to help. It is time to fertilize. We are gonna do a film of uh, fertilizing video tomorrow. It is absolutely time to fertilize, but we'll cover that in detail. You know, a lot of arguments about it being too hot and too early, and that's not the case, but we'll get into that when we actually do that video, so we'll go over that in detail. What I do need to get done, we need to clean the doves that we had this morning, and I need to clean up the pile that we left outside of the blackberry bed. So I'm gonna get to work on that. Hopefully Austin will be out in a second to give me a hand. And then he and I are gonna get to fertilizing. One more thing I'm gonna do actually before Austin and I get to fruit fertilizing some fruit trees is I'm gonna be working in this berry bed here. So actually we'll probably get it on camera. Uh, we've got a lot of what's left down here. Hopefully you can pick that up. That is just carcasses from our cleaning yesterday with everybody that was here for dove hunting. I uh, left those out in case the coyotes wanted to come by, but they weren't interested. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize that. That is a lot of good material for worms and whatnot that will break it down inside this berry bed. What I don't wanna do is I don't wanna put it in the middle, which is where we're gonna be planting, uh, I believe our triple crown blackberry here in just a few weeks actually. So I don't want that raw stuff to be right in the middle where I'm gonna be planting. So I'm gonna dig a trench here at the end of it which is over near where we were actually cleaning them yesterday. Gonna dig a trench and get all of this off the ground and into this bed so it can start breaking down. got that done. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you is Austin comes in a little bit closer. So you can see as I was digging these wood chips back, remember we talked a little bit about worms and the first batch of compost that we put in the middle had a bunch of worms in it we brought from the old farm and there we go. Over here on the edge, I've got worm activity before all of that went in. So now that I've got those carcasses in there from the birds, you can bet they're gonna be happy with that. So we're gonna put him back home all right, that is very, very exciting to see the fact that I've got worm activity here already where we have all of those bird carcasses. They are just gonna go to town and have a blast. So we'll make sure this stays nice and wet so that they can really get in here and start to break that material down and just add to the activity, to the nutrients that we have and the access to nutrient for the blackberry that will be in here, here in the future. So Austin and I have some actual work we need to get done. We need to get some of these fruit trees fertilized. So we'll flip back to you when we're done. We have the entire 
eastern part or the eastern orchard orchard fertilized so that's ready to go what we plan on doing is filming a video for you guys tomorrow where we actually recap we did some tests in our last round of fertilizing in the spring so we're going to take a look at some of the test results from that and obviously going to show you how we're going to fertilize these trees for the fall and also talk a little bit about the reasons why and when and the reason why the when occurs <laughs> so anyhow what we're going to do is we still have company we have austin and nikki here with us still there's one other thing i wanted to talk to you guys about before i forget so Lori and i are getting really close to 10,000 subscribers which i, I still <laughs> I still can't, I still can't figure that out. So uh, either way, really appreciative of you guys. We know that everybody who watches these vlogs are, a lot of them, it's you guys that you comment all the time, you really encourage us a lot. And we didn't really know and still don't know what we're gonna do when we hit that 10,000 mark, but we figured we would let you guys know that we were thinking about maybe doing a live stream. We've never done that before at all. So we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> But we figured that might be a good reason to do that is once we get past that number to do that. So we're thinking we'll let everybody know in the community tab here on YouTube. So we're gonna put a note down there for you guys, kind of let you guys know when we plan on doing that. And we'll also let you guys know in a future vlog. So just let us know if that's something you think uh, you guys might wanna do. And we thought that'd be really cool to actually be able to connect with you guys uh, in a live format as opposed to these videos with questions and comments. So fast forward a couple days and we've still got some time left in our Labor Day weekend, but we wanted to give you guys something a little bit different. I know we have a lot of homestead viewers out there. I know I've got hunter, fellow hunters out there as well. Thought you guys might like to take a sneak peek at maybe not the best of season that we've had because <laughs> there were no limits to be had this year, but man, we sure had a lot of fun. So we've still got a couple things here. I wanted to point out something while we're here on the pasture. So we have, we will be establishing this pasture this month. I'm hopeful that we can do it next weekend. It's kind of based on the weather. We've been very, very hot. We have a little bit of a dip in the weather this week, it looks like, but then back up into that mid 100 range. Still a little bit too hot to be putting seed on the ground in my opinion, but we have all of the seed purchased. We're ready to go. So while we work out those final details, Lori will kind of give you a shot of what the base is gonna look like here in the pasture. So as she scans through, we did have some rain come through. We know we have a low spot right over here. I don't know whether or not you'll pick that up on camera but we did get a low spot right there. We have a couple of other low spots as we go back into here. So we are thinking of maybe bringing some manure uh, onto the pasture. We weren't planning on doing that. We were planning on covering with straw and hay. We may use a combination of both just to see how they do to get those seeds started. But I do know I need to build that up a little bit. And so we'll probably put some type of soil down there. I wanna try to get this as flat as we can. For the most part, the rain settled, sunk in, which was great to see, and then some of it pushed out. Another thing is Lori scans that way. Uh, when we were doing the video, we actually just posted for you guys yesterday. We were talking about the hardware cloth. We did get a chance to come back and wrap that up. I didn't mention in that video that we do put hardware cloth on the gates themselves because bunnies can get through that chain link. So there's a three foot tall section of hardware cloth on both of the gates. So at this point, this area is basically completely sealed from rabbits and ready to get some seed. One last thing. Last weekend, we had Jake. Uh, he's our electrician, professional electrician, came over and we installed a couple of outlets here on the home that face out to the pasture area. One of the things that we found is Lori was having a very hard time actually coming out and doing the chores in the mornings because she couldn't see. <laughs> We're getting into the fall time of year and it's getting light a little bit later and she couldn't see. We got these uh, panels up there. These are LED lights, very, very strong LED lights. Give plenty of light back here on the pasture. That'll obviously help us out when we're doing our broiler chickens as well. So again, something a little bit different today, but you know, Lori and I really enjoy bringing you some of the behind the scenes stuff. You can see even when we try to have fun on the weekends, we still wind up doing some farming work. And we've got another one for you guys tomorrow. In fact, I mentioned it already, but tomorrow we are gonna be doing fertilizing. So if you guys are seeing this, 
hopefully this weekend, uh, you'll know, yes, it's time to fertilize your trees. Yes, you do not need to worry about the heat right now. Yes, your trees need it now because yes, your trees will need it in a few weeks. <laughs> so yes, yes, yes fertilize your trees. Uh, we're going to be fertilizing our trees tomorrow. Hopefully we'll wrap it up. We should be able to and that'll give that fertilization time to get down into the tree and get your trees going for that fall flush that's coming up. Oh, and then one other thing before I forget, we are going to be doing a video on the Healthy Farm Living channel on how we prepare our dove, our favorite way of preparing dove. I'll tell you what, it tastes very, very good which is not necessarily what most people would say about doves themselves. So <laughs> we'll have that up here in a couple weeks. You definitely want to take a peek at that if you're trying to figure out what to do with that dove meat from this dove season. So just want to thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Instagram and Facebook, we post content there you won't see here on the YouTube channel. Our Healthy Farm Living channel, we talked about that. I'll leave a link down in the description. That is all the things we do inside the farmhouse after the farming is done to stay as healthy as we possibly can because that's the ultimate goal here. In our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That's a free, painless way to help support the channel. If you start with that link, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. This makes it awkward. Dang, I, was trying, I was trying to plug the light in on the wrong way. <laughs> the clip goes the other way. And it's awesome behind the camera, so, but check that out. So we've talked a little bit about, where are you? Oh, my hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we had it. That's okay. All right, are we starting? No. no I'll you, come back in. You can just come in, just let's, come in. Let's I can start, cut it right there. It's gotta just, be cinematic. No, no. All right, fine. Come on in.